we're going to try to streamline the process for you of recording videos. So you've been using external tools such as Screencast-O-Matic or QuickTime or even some of you have been using Photo Booth. So there is a tool that we are going to purchase within Canvas called Studio that allows you to do video recordings, it allows you to do video editing, and it allows you to do things such as embedding quizzes and um, discussions right in your videos. And everything then is stored right in Canvas so you don't have to like link it to YouTube or any of those pieces. So it's a tool that I've been using at Iowa State for a couple years now. So I'm gonna show you from my Iowa State platform of what it looks like. And then from there, you're gonna see the whole studio um, interface. Okay, so I am now in my Iowa State dashboard on my, for the Iowa State domain. On the left-hand side, you can see my global navigation. And I'm gonna click down in Studio, which is a tool we're going to be using. And when you get into Studio, you have a couple different um, options. And it kind of looks like your dashboard within Canvas. But if I click on my left-hand side, I can see all of the videos I've currently uploaded or have uploaded, um, things that have been, sh videos that have been shared with me, and then any courses that have been, that Studio, studio videos have been associated with. Your studio settings are just th any third-party integrations that we don't have any of those, so you don't have to worry about that. I'm gonna now work right to left here. So on the search side, I can search for any videos. If I have the word like reflection, I can find any videos that have um, the word reflection either tagged or in the title. Okay. Then I can add videos. So if I have something that's already on my computer, so like if something you've already recorded that you just wanna have stored in Canvas, you can drop and drag it in here or you can browse your files just like you would in any other tool. You can also paste URLs from a YouTube here. So if you wanted to embed a quiz into a YouTube video or add a discussion into a YouTube video that stops, that has like discussions right on certain points of the video, you can do so um, by just adding it there. But the main tool that I'm guessing most of you will use is the record tool. And so when I click on record, I have a couple different options. I have screen capture and I have webcam. So if I do the webcam, it's going to just bring up my face this way and then just making sure my mic is on and then, or I can do the screen capture. So I'm gonna go to screen capture and screen capture is gonna ask me to open up the screen recorder. You may have to download it the first time and then you're going to get a screen that looks like this. And I'll bring this up a little bit so you can see all the whole interface. Now I have the option of just doing my screen so you won't see anything, it would just look like this. And it would be my screen without my face. I can do just my webcam that looks just like this or I can do both. And then when I do both, I can either bring it like where I usually start my videos where I'm in the main screen and there's nothing else there. That's what this one is. I can put myself anywhere in the screen itself or I can take myself off. Now when it's clicked on here, you can still see it, but your viewers cannot. All right. And then um, I'm going to just pull myself off here real quick. And then you have some options over here. So I was in this area before. You can change your size of your screen. So what's captured here. So you can kind of see my outline of what's captured. And then you can also do um, your narration. So you wanna make sure this is turned on so you can see the green buttons going up and down. So you make sure that your microphone is on. If you see, like if I have my Soundflower on, you aren't seeing anything, so it's not recording my voice at all. So this means my my microphone is not working if I was doing a recording here. So I'm gonna go back into my built-in mic. Okay, I can also come down to preferences and I can do some, some hotkeys and things like that, which you probably won't need to do. All right, I can also annotate over top when I'm doing a recording. So all you need to do when you're doing this is push record down here and it is now recording my screen. So I can then annotate over top as well. Oops. 
So when I do so, I can draw and zoom. I can change what it looks like. So if I wanted to like have a circle or an oval and I want to talk about a certain part, I can do that. I can erase it, change my color, change my font size. I can do a capture, a capture cursor while drawing, or I can hide my cursor. So if I don't want my screen to show that, I just want to do like the circle there, I can. I can also like freehand something. So if I want to draw something on my screen, I could do so. All right, so when you're done recording, all you do is you click this button here, this pause button, and I click done. Then what you need to do is you need to title it. So I'm gonna just do demo here. And then I can add a description to it. I can also edit this recording. So if there's things that I wanna take out, I can. So I'm gonna go under edit. And then there's a bunch of different tools. And I'm gonna just link another video on the different tools that you can do when editing. So this is again, a whole new editing um, component of this where you don't really see that in just if you use an external tool. So there are tons of different tools you can use within here. I can cut pieces. So if I don't want this piece to be here, I can cut it out and then I just drag and I say, okay. And it just cuts it out. I can add music in here. And it's going to find music from your, from your computer, not from, um, does it have built in, built in, um, music. You can also change your resolution. So if I want to make it bigger or smaller, I can. So if I want to have it like, oh, I want to make it sure it's a certain size, I can crop it down. Or if I had extra, extra stuff on the outside, I can take that out. Also, I can decide if I want to show my cursor or my webcam, and then I can be done here. And then I just upload it. So when it's uploaded, it's just going to go right into studio. It's not going to go into your course automatically because it doesn't know where you want it. So I'm going to do a separate video on how to put your videos into your actual assignments or your courses, and then also how to add, add the quizzes and things like that. All right. Hope this helps.